Hello, this is Ms. Pat from Samuel's Public Library. This week in Science Scouts, we're going to talk about an egg parachute or an egg drop and what happens when you drop an egg from really high up. Okay, our book this week is called Egg Drop by Minnie Gray. The egg was young. It didn't know much. We tried to tell it but of course it didn't listen. If only it had waited. Here is the story of the egg that wanted to fly. The egg had always loved looking up, seeing birds and balloons, airplanes and insects, helicopters and bats and clouds. The egg wanted to fly with them. It dreamed of ways to fly. But the egg was young. It didn't know much about flying and it didn't know anything about aerodynamics or Bernoulli's principle. It just knew that it had to get up high. There was a very tall tower made of bricks on a hill Inside, there were 583 stone steps. The egg climbed to the top. The egg was in the clouds. A bird flew past. The egg squeezed its eyes shut. It drew a deep breath and it took a step into space. There was an enormous egg rush. The egg opened its eyes and saw friends in the air and felt the sky blasting past. Whee, it cried, I am flying. But the egg was not flying. It was falling. It took us a while to clean up the mess. We tried to put the egg back together again with string, band-aids, sticky tape, nails and screws, sewing, tomato soup, chewing gum, but nothing really worked and shells don't heal. The egg was young. It didn't listen. If only it had waited. Luckily, the egg was not wasted. Now, most bird eggs, when the bird comes out, the bird can fly. Chickens, chickens don't fly so much. They do have wings and they can move a little bit, but they don't fly up really high. Now, we are going to look at what can you guys do with an egg? All right, can you drop it and not have it crack open and make a mess like that one did? Okay, remember if we're gonna drop an egg really up high, and I'm sure you've all seen somebody drop an egg at home, right? Somebody drops an egg on the floor and it goes splat and it cracks open and you got gooey stuff all over the place, right? Can you drop it and make not make a mess? And the answer is yes. Okay, now they talked about Bernoulli's principle. That's a little bit above what we're going to do. We're going to talk about Newton's law of inertia. Okay, that means an object that's in motion will stay in motion until some force acts on it. So as the egg is falling down, okay, and I'm going to show you a plastic egg. As the egg is falling down, it's going to stay in motion. It's going to keep falling, which is what he did, 538 steps until something stopped it, the ground. Okay, it also means it'll stay at rest until something acts on it. So if you push it, right, if you push somebody off a wall, we talked about Humpty Dumpty and you all know the story about Humpty Dumpty, right? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, somebody pushed him. Nah, he didn't really, he's just round so he kind of fell off. Right? But he was at rest until gravity pulled him. 
And that's really the force that's going to act on it. When you guys drop your egg today, or whenever you guys do this, gravity is going to be the force that acts on it. It's not going to stay there floating in the air. Gravity is going to pull it down. That's going to be the force pulling it down, okay? So either it's going to keep falling, gravity is going to keep pulling it, keep pulling it, keep pulling it until something stops. And that's going to be the ground is going to now be a new force. And that's going to crack it open, kind of like our poor friend here. All right, so the objective today is going to be to keep the egg from breaking, right? And it has to slow down. So they tells you that an increased surface area, this is another one of Newton's law, an increased surface area such as flying disc shape or parachute will cause the egg to hit the ground at a slower speed, right? If it's at a lower speed, if you can slow it down, it's not gonna be as much damage. If it's coming down really fast, it's gonna splat. But if you can slow it down, maybe you'll just crack it a little bit, okay? Maybe it won't do it as bad. So you can see them. Okay, they kind of got a parachute here with strings attached to the egg. Here, they got the parachute attached to something. It looks like sticks or straws that are all around the egg so that it bounces on that thing. Okay, but they have to slow the egg down because otherwise, just like our poor bird, uh, poor egg in egg drop, right? he just kind of went 530 and the faster he, higher up you are, the faster and faster gravity is going to pull you down. So we kind of got to slow it down. All right, if we can increase the time over which the egg comes to rest, you can also give it something to absorb something of the force. So maybe you can rub a band into a, a sponge, okay, or something softer, uh, a, whole, a whole lot of cotton, right, some sort of carrier. So we're going to, I'm going to show you a couple of different things that we're going to do. They have, right, it tells you that there's no right way to do this, okay? They have, in the top left corner here, they have a um, paper cone, and they put the egg down in there, and they put cotton on top of it, and they put straws through it to keep the cotton from falling out, and they're going to drop it that way, right? They put cotton under the egg, and they put cotton on top of the egg. Um, here they have it in the egg carton with, just part of an egg carton, with rubber bands to keep it in there. Maybe it'll bounce on those rubber bands and that'll absorb some of the shock. Here they have it in a cup full of cotton attached to the parachute. Here they just have it wrapped around in a whole lot of cotton with the rubber bands. Here they kind of made, they used straws and they kind of made like a little teepee and they taped it in there. So it's gonna bounce on these straws. And again, they have the parachute. Okay, so. If you guys come in, you're going to get a kit, okay, with a whole bunch of different things in it. Now, I'm not giving you real eggs because mommy and daddy will get mad at me for that mess. Um, and there's a good chance the eggs will go bad or they'll break before you even get out of the library. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys plastic eggs. Now, there is something inside of them and it will make a mess when you spill it. Okay, but we have cereal. There's Cheerios inside of it. So it will make a mess if you if crack it open, but it won't make a really big mess like the uh, regular eggs will, okay? And seriously, if you get up high enough and you drop it, it'll still crack open. The cereal will go all over the place. Um, but you can always put the cereal back in if you want, put some pebbles in it, put something else in it. So the idea is to take some of the stuff. I'm not giving you directions for this project this time. Okay, I'm just going to give you lots of different things and you can use other stuff at home. Um, I didn't have any toilet paper to tubes, but if you want to stick this in toilet paper tubes, or maybe you want to tape the toilet paper tubes all around it, you could do that. I am going to give you a cup. There is some cotton in your bag. We're going to put some cotton in the bag, uh, in the cup. Now, I also gave you some eyes. So you guys can decorate your Humpty Dumpty here. Okay. You want to draw a little mouth on them.
right? Now, I am gonna put him in upside down, maybe not. Maybe we'll put him in this way. Trying to keep him so that he's mostly in there. And then I'm gonna put a couple of rubber bands around him. Now, remember, this is just what I'm doing. There is no right way to do this. The rubber band can still fall off. He might still crack open. I might crack the cup. I, I took one of my coffee filters and I taped string on opposite sides. I wanna decorate mine. So we are gonna So now mine says Happy Easter, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to tape it to the side of my cup. happen to be taping it exactly where I put my rubber bands too. Now, if mommy and daddy don't mind you doing this with hard boiled eggs, those are the ones that you cook and they, they're solid on the inside. They'll crack, but they won't make a big mess. I would not do this with regular. Now I kind of have a little parachute. Right. I have a little parachute for my egg. Now I am going to put it up high. Now you guys can stand on a chair. Don't stand on any tables. Don't stand on any chairs that have wheels on them. Now, these ones have wheels. I have to go get a chair right now that doesn't have wheels because standing on chairs with wheels, you're gonna get hurt. Don't do that. Don't climb on any tables. Mommy and daddy aren't gonna like that, okay? Um, but you can go outside, you can go up to the top of a slide. Um, if you have a balcony or a deck, you can go outside on the deck and you could do that, right? And you can drop it off. So let's see if I can find a, a high spot to stand that's not on wheels. Okay, I have set up a chair. Okay, this chair does not have wheels. We're gonna take a look. And see what happens to my egg when it when it drops. Okay. So I want you guys to notice. All right. There's my egg. I'm gonna pick it up. I'll show you guys. Did it fall apart? So, nope, didn't open. I still have my cereal in there, okay? So this is one of the things you guys could do. Um, if you're a little bit afraid, if you're higher, because I mean, I'm only on a little chair. If you're on a balcony or a deck or something, it might be a lot higher. You might be dropping it on concrete. You could put cotton balls on top and then put the rubber bands on. This way you got something soft on both sides, okay? You don't have to use this. You could use a paper cup, fill it all up with cotton ball, stick this thing in there, put tape on it, drop it, right? So take some pictures if you want and you guys can uh, show them to me. Let me know how it works out for you, okay? We got lucky, this one worked. I guess that other guy, he should have had something because just walking off the edge wasn't gonna be good. Um, 
So see you guys next week. We're going to be making a bouncing bunny out of a cup. And enjoy. Bye.